Hey guys, it's uh, it's been quite a while since my last Clash Royale video. I think it's been over four months now. Pretty sure the last thing I did was when the Little Prince came out. You know, brand new champion and all that. But uh, now we got a brand new tower troop. If you you probably know what those are if you've been playing Clash Royale recently. But you know, we got like the Cannoneer here. I literally just maxed him out yesterday at the very end of the season. I mean, when I say max, I mean like level level fourteen. We're, we're not gonna talk about level level fifteen, okay? That's for uh, another thing at some point. But yeah, so we got him right here. You know, he was pretty pretty cool, I guess, but not nearly as good as the princess, of course. And then we got the brand new one right here, the Dagger Duchess, which you got one of them for free. It's a legendary, and you know, it's pretty cool. You can see a little uh, thing of what it does here. It has a kind of like a charge up bar where it shoots like a bunch of daggers and then it has to like reload it to shoot more every time. So, you know, it, it might be pretty good. So we're going to get one of them from doing like this training thing so that we can get to level 10. And I think I have enough resources to actually get it to level 14 afterwards because I have um, 20 uh, legendary wild cards. And I also got a legendary like book book of cards. So I might just like get it to level 14 maybe. But first, let's, uh, let's see if it's good or not. So we got like a training thing here going up against the Red King. So are you here for the Tower Troop tryouts? Yes, I am. Look like you could do some backup, old man. Okay. Oh, excuse me? You're not going to survive two seconds in the arena. Looks like the princess got, got some beef here with the Dagger Duchess. Go back to your tea party, princess. I'll show you how a real warrior handles things. Ooh, okay, okay. What was that? Oh, uh-oh. Minion Nord. Yeah, look, so against, like, things like this, she absolutely just destroys them. I'm out of ammo. Hold them off while I get more knives out. Uh, no, okay. Guess that worked. Yeah, so she used out all of her ammo, but then she shoots, like, really slow after that. I like her style, niece. Oh, so, it's, so she's the king's niece. Okay, let's see what else she got. Alright, let's plant a giant in the back. So you can see, like, she has to, like, recharge up, like, her, like, dagger bar, I guess. So let's see how she handles the rest of this stuff. I'm not gonna do anything else. He likes like she shreds the Dark Prince, but then like after that, just kind of fizzles out completely. You know, not much going on there. Is this push gonna be enough to take out the whole, everything else? Hopefully, he's not playing anything else. I think I just won. Oh, okay. Here, let, here, let's see how it handles it. I'm just gonna let my push take out the tower. I think it's going to. Let's see, so can it actually defend this? Okay, so it almost fully killed the Dark Prince. Then the minions come in. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure if it's better than, than, than Princess, you know, like with the... I feel like if it reloaded quicker, then it would actually be really good. But it's very vulnerable once the thing runs out. Like if you're playing like Hog 2.6, just put an Ice Golem in front. It'll waste all the daggers on there and the Hog will just wreck the tower, you know? So I'm not quite sure about this. Yeah, like, it's literally giving me a hog one now. Oh, so this time you're abusing it against it. I figured out your tricks, Blondie. I'm not gonna go easy on you this time. Tear off your feathers, your highness. Why don't you go home and cry about it? Okay, great. Yeah, so I was thinking if we just do this and then follow it with some... Okay, it's not gonna let me. Yep, there we go. Follow it with some of those. It's gonna waste all of its daggers on that. And then I can just do that and then it's gone. You know, <laughs> you just got lucky. You know, this isn't uh, just about you two, right? Okay. This weird dialogue. Destroy remaining targets. Okay. So let's play this game out normally. So let's try out like the hog rider thing I was going to do. Let's just, let's, this, this is going to defend itself. I want to do Ice Golem Hog Rider, see how it fares against that. We're going to do it on the fresh tower on the right here. So Ice Golem Hog. I mean, yeah, that's right. So it's going for the Ice Golem now. Yeah, it just wasted everything, and now the Hog is completely free to just decimate the tower. And it takes so long for it to reload each shot. Oh my god, look at it go. It's barely doing anything. The tower's gone from like one hog rider that that that's insane you can't really like 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 pr princess is like all around like solid you know like you can't go wrong with princess the dagger duchess though it's very specific for like certain situations it could be really useful but it could also be a major weakness 
So I feel like it almost needs a buff because I think it should reload quicker. The reload time is way too short. Like 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 its weak spot is massive. Or just give it more daggers. Have have like a longer like charge up time. So I think I think I think it has like eight maybe when it's like firing them out. Give it like ten or something. You know I think that'd be a much more balanced. Got to give it to you, Sage. You got some good moves. And I can be of a decent throwing arm. Let's face off as equals. Okay, great. Yeah, like, so it's gonna get rid of those guys easy. But now it has to deal with a Mega Knight, and it just can't do that. I got more ammo on the right. Oh, it wants me to pull it to the right. Okay. Yeah, let's play some skeletons there. Perfectly played. Get a Knight over there. Yep, and then, and then they both attack it. Okay, yeah, so pulling in the middle with both of them could actually be quite good. Yeah, okay. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, 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 like, so, like, I guess a good, a really good strategy would be kiting stuff to, like, the side, but I don't use, like, buildings or anything like that in my deck normally. So, like, hog riders and giants and things like that, if you just put something in the front, like, they're gonna, they're gonna get through easily. Just put down some bats, destroy mating targets, yeah. Here, let's try out the, um, the Mega Knight thing again. I don't know if I have enough elixir to pull it. Come on, come back. Yes. There we go. Look, I did it successfully. Now both towers are attacking it. Okay, yeah, so that's actually a pretty good idea. It's like the big tanky stuff. It will it will shred it down like that. Hmm, okay. I feel like, like with the Cannoneer, it's pretty obvious how bad it was at first, and they never really buffed it that much. You know, like the Cannoneer isn't terrible, but it's definitely worse than the Princess. This one, though, it's a lot harder to say if it's better or worse. Like, it's much more sit sit situational, but I feel like it could still be really useful. I'd have to try it out with, like, my deck specifically to really determine that. So let's claim this. Okay, so now we got two of them. Let's, um, let's level it up for now. Ba boom level 10, and then I believe, I actually, okay, I, I did already try one round here. Okay, the, the, this morning. Um, so you can see I, I, got, I got a few stuff there. I'm going to use my main deck against other people who are also using it as well. And let's, let's just see how it plays out. I, I, I lost one game already, but we're just, we're just going to ignore that. Pretty sure it also has more health than, 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 a, than a princess tower does, you know? And it still, has, it still has enough ammo left over to completely get rid of the skeleton ball. So we can knock down skeleton ball really, really quickly, and it still has enough ammo left over to deal with all the skeletons. So it effectively counters Skeleton Barrel. Let's see how it fares against a Dark Goblin. How fast is it going to get rid of it? All right. And what about Goblin Barrel? I just want to see what happens. Yeah, look at that. It it handles it handles stuff like that really well. So like so it's like like chip cycle decks. You know the ones that just like spam like 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 Goblin like Goblin Gang at your tower and stuff like that. Do it really quickly. But this here, I put a Lumberjack in front, so that tanked all the daggers, and the balloon goes in and finishes off the tower, and it just can't do anything to stop it. So my deck it actually works really well against the dag dagger duchess. I don't know how I lost that first game. I think oh I remember now he was doing like Pekka bridge spam, and I just got absolutely wrecked. So yeah, like like bridge spam decks are gonna be really strong against her, but like bait decks like this are not because she can just kill them like really quickly and still have plenty of daggers left over. Hog 2.6 is probably gonna hard counter it because like the ice golems and stuff like that will just deplete all the daggers and the hog comes in, you know. But look at it handle like the firecracker there. You know it doesn't do anything barely took any damage and it has more health than a normal princess tower i'm pretty sure too so i don't know i'd say it's pretty viable in a lot of situations it, this could be really helpful but like if i do my lumber loom push here it's gonna waste all the daggers on the lumberjack its whole source is depleted and then the balloon goes in and finishes it off but now i have nothing for the prince wait a minute it actually handles the prince though it, the prince got melted I mean, sure, I mean, it's, it's still connected, but it did a ton of damage to the prince. So did, the mini P.E.K.K.A. didn't have much to do there. Let's see if it can handle a firecracker. It only has, like, half charge. It can. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So stuff like firecracker is just useless now against this, you know? Which is lovely. Oh, okay, that, oh, that is weird. Wait, did I put down a princess? I swear. I was, oh, oh, God. I swear I was on the, I was on the lumberjack. How did I put down it? Oh, that's my tower gone. Oh, uh, I swear it was touching the lumberjack, not the princess. 
Why? Where did the princess even come from? Let's do this and this. Oh yeah, by the way, I also got both these emotes from like the Easter challenge this weekend. See? Yeah, by the way, uh, happy April Fools. Yeah, but lo lo look at that again. Like the like the, the balloon is going to solo the tower because it has no is nothing is no ammo left to stop it. There's like nothing it can do. But mine on the other hand is full ammo and the real giant doesn't even get a connection. That's insane. Yeah, so you really gotta know how to use this correctly, you know? Like, I can let this handle the big stuff up front, just carry stuff behind it. I think this is actually gonna work really well with my deck, seeing how this plays out here. And most people aren't gonna be using it either, you know? But if they are, that's honestly an advantage for me, because then it makes it easier for my Lumberloon to connect. So, like, decks like... <laughs> I mean, okay, <laughs> Lumberloon would be actually be really effective against a deck like this. Oh, a monk is not a bad idea. Because that's going to like... Okay, wait a minute. No. Um, okay, that almost connected. If you get a monk in there and it like sends all the daggers back, that'll be like a lot of damage. Oh, wait, wait, what about like an electro giant though? You know? Okay, wait a minute. This is an evolved one. I don't really have much, but let's... Yeah, look at that. It's doing so much damage to it so quickly. Hmm. I kind of want to save my elixir. It's not going to take out my tower though. Yeah. The, the evolved world giant's a bit nuts, so that's not, that's not really a fair comparison, honestly. But, you know, the regular one was fine. If we see here, I don't think this guy's, like, any air defense at all. It's like, yeah, all the daggers are going there, and then, boom, the rage balloon comes to take out his tower. He has, like, no, no air defense. Like, you're done, buddy. Like, you, like <laughs> look at that. I don't mean he has a zap. Oh, wait a minute. It's still, it's still got a connection, even after all of that. that, that, that he, he, used, he used a zap and a bomb tower to try and stop the balloon, but it's still got a connection. Okay, let's try to pull that in the center. Get this over here as well. There we go. Wait, no, 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 no! You see that? That's where its weakness really shows, because the mini Pekka just took out the tower. When a princess would have killed that, but because it shoots so slowly, it didn't. You know, oh, he just deflected that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is actually gonna be kind of a close battle, which is not what I wanted to happen. But all right, no, we're gonna stop that. Okay, no, no, I think I think we can clutch this up. Yeah, he just messed up that. Okay, that was really bad for him. If I just put this over here, it's, it's not gonna get pulled. All the ammo gets wasted in any way, and he doesn't have anything for it except for zap now. So, yeah, your tower's gone. Good game, buddy. It's nice playing with you. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, so in conclusion, the Dagger Dutch is better than the Cannoneer. Um, about even with the Princess, honestly. Because while the Princess is good overall, the Dagger Duchess is better in a lot of different situations, but it's also worse. So it kind of balances itself out, you know? So, yeah, I think- Oh, an epic chest! That's pretty nice. Oh, wait, 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 did I get the- Oh, wait, I gotta win one more game for the lucky drop? Um... Alright, you know what? I'll tell you what, this is what we'll do. Because I can... I believe I have enough to do this, so... Yeah, let, let's just max out the Dagger Duchess and then use it in a real game real quick. So, level up to 11... Spent a few more wild cards there. And I got level 12, and then I need 10 more, which is exactly the amount I have. That's all my legendary wild cards gone. <laughs> Fantastic. We got level double 13. We can use the book of legendaries on it. And boom, maxed out Dagger Duchess on day one. Whoa. There goes a lot of my money. I mean, I still got 4.2 billion gold right now. Been saving up for quite some time. But now, just because I maxed out the cannoneer, like, literally yesterday, so a lot of my resources and stuff are depleted now. I'm, like, completely out of, like, epic wild cards and legendary wild cards, and I lost an epic book and legendary book. But, you know, it's fine. We'll get that stuff back eventually. And now we're going to, um, let's use the Dagger Duchess instead. And let's try it out in a Path of Legends battle. You know, put try it out in, in the leagues. Let's just see what happens here. I mean, it's going to be level 11, but, you know. Hopefully we can win this game. Should be easy enough, because it's a League 1 match, but it is day 1, so you never know what kind of people you can go up against here. Might be a bit sweaty. Okay. 
Uh, I'm not gonna push off that. We're gonna have to. Oh God! Stop that. See, he's got a battle ram, but it's gonna stop it there. Okay. Not bad. Kill that off. See, mo most people aren't gonna use it. The dagger dashes at all at first because they're not gonna have it like. They're not gonna have the stuff to level it up. The only, the only way you're gonna be able to max this out on day one is if, well, I mean, if, is if you like buy the offers and, or the pass royale, which not many people do these days, let's be real, it's way too much money. Or if you just already happen to have like 20 legendary, like wild cards and a book of legendaries, which also not many people are gonna have, you know? So yeah, especially as I go up in the leagues here and like the higher levels and stuff like that, less and less people are gonna be using it if any at all you know like the infernal dragon just gets destroyed now now look at the freeze here this is something i was wondering about the freeze stops it from like recharging its daggers so decks using freeze are gonna be very effective let's see how it handles a goblin gang all right i don't want to throw the game so i'm just gonna defend it a little bit there but you know it wasn't fully charged yet so like it was like half charged and it took out like like two of them so i bet like full charge could take out at least four which is still pretty pretty decent yeah, look, so he used the knight there to tank for the battle ram. Ooh, that almost connected. Okay. Yeah, see, that was kind of bad. But, you know, we're still doing doing fine. So, yeah, Dagger Duchess. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I like it quite quite a bit. It's quite a cool tower. I think I'm definitely going to keep using it for a bit. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Maybe I should upload more Clash Royale content. I don't know, it's just kind of been a while. It's just been kind of, hasn't really been anything interesting to upload. But, you know, we'll see. This has been a fun video, though, to make. And I get some ooh, some more common cards, which just translate to Galvin Gang. Okay, fantastic. Ooh, we also get a chest up here. Anything crazy? Baby dragon? Nice. Okay. So let's open up the epic... I mean, the, the, the wild drop thing. The best thing I've ever gotten out of this so far is an epic one. I got that, like, once. I got a rare a couple times. Let's see what happens. Ooh, rare already. Okay. Rare and rare. All right, that's not bad. Kind of got excited there, though. Some gold. Wow. That's useless to me. I have... <laughs> that, 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 that literally doesn't change anything. I have just such, like, a massive amount of gold. I just don't care at this point. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so overall, the uh, the Dagger Duchess is pretty good. I quite like it. I'm gonna use it. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, hopefully I'll see you again in the future. Stay tuned for more cool stuff like this. And bye!